Hi, I'm Tifa Snow. I'm a dementia care consultant and a trainer. I have over 30 plus years as an occupational therapist. My goal, my purpose, is to help people who are trying to care for somebody who has dementia. Dementia is tough. You need to learn more about it and learn what it does and what it doesn't do and what it's going to mean for you. Four out of five families will fall apart because this is a challenge and only one out of five will pull together. And it's mostly because everything changes when you have dementia. It's not just about memory and it's not just about one thing and it's not stable and it's not static and once it happens, it hasn't happened and so you're done. It keeps changing. Now what that means, if you're smart and if you're wise, you start from the very beginning realizing this is a journey. You're gonna be on a journey. And when you start a journey, if you're thinking it's just gonna be a little short one, a little sprint, well, you don't plan very well. Try not to do the Lone Ranger thing, go off on your own and just do the best you can because before this is over, <laughs> you're gonna be out of juice, you're gonna be out of gas. And there are things that are available, but you need to know that before you need them because when you need them, you don't have the energy or the will or the ability even at that point to go out and get them. I also would tell you there's lots of skills you're going to need. Um, it's more than just who you know, it's what you know, and how you do what you do becomes incredibly important. And nobody is necessarily born with these talents, and you don't even get that information when you get the diagnosis. So you want to you want to find out what's out there because what's out there makes a difference. I would say one of the most important things to do as a caregiver is to quit being a caregiver and become a care partner. Quit assuming that the person you're trying to help is going to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. And the more you try to push your help at them, the more they're going to push back. And it's important to go, oh, well, this isn't working and recognize, hmm, let me think of something else. Or if I can't think of something else, let me go and find out something else. So my message to you, there are things out there. Find out what your resources are and where to go get them. You don't have to go somewhere physically but you do have to go somewhere mentally. You have to be willing to make a trip. And that means stop, pause. And here's the most important skill I can give you in the short range. Learn the art of letting it go. You can hold it all in, it won't change anything. Learn to breathe, take a moment, and learn.